Force acts on acts for 20 seconds on a body of mass 20 gram, 20 kilograms, starting from rest. After which the force ceases, and then the body describes 50 meter. And in the next 10 seconds, the value of force will be. So this is very important to understand, or, or to, you know, to to visualize the, uh, the the given scenario here. So given to us that mass is 20 kilogram. For the first, for the second half, 10 seconds, the distance covered is 50 meter. U is zero because it is starting from uh, starting from rest. Now. To have a better clarity in the, you know, I would say to have a better clarity on the the, the diagrammatic side, what we what we'll do is we'll consider this diagram here. So this represents di uh, mo mo motion of a body from A to B, which actually takes place in 20 seconds, the first 20 seconds, and then the force ceases to act. Therefore, we have B to C for 10 seconds. Okay, so the first half is. Let's see if I have to write this. This half is actually uniformly accelerated. Why? Because it is under the presence of a presence of a external force. This force exists. Sorry, ceases to exist here, which means from here it is gonna be in a uniform uniform velocity. Why? Why? Simple logic. Because friction is not present here. Nothing being said about friction. So, in the absence of friction, a body will continue be in the state of uniform motion unless and until invoked by a external force. So, there is no external force acting, and the velocity is VB. Therefore, it will keep on acting like this. It will keep on traveling with the same velocity, which means actually VC is act equal to VB, right? Okay. So, it was U. Gradually, the velocity increases to VB. Force is no longer acting. Therefore, the velocity seems constant. Right. So the first part is only for 20 seconds. For the motion along AB, for the motion along AB, U is equal to zero. Velocity at B, VB, velocity at B is VB, which is something we don't know. So for the motion along AB, for that equation of motion, V is equal to U plus AT, A is equal to V minus U by T. Now what is this V? This is VB. Right. Now what is T here? T here is equal to T here is equal to 20 seconds. Therefore, we can write this is equal to VB minus, right? This can be written as VB minus 0 by 0 by 20, which is equal to VB by VB by 20. Now, for the next half, for the motion along BC, initial velocity is VB, final velocity is also VB, which means acceleration is 0. This term vanishes, right? This term is no longer present. So when that term is no longer present, we can say that, I'll repeat it, initial velocity is equal to final velocity. So VB is equal to VC and therefore, and therefore we can say that acceleration is equal to zero. Now all what we have is the 10 second motion, right? The 10 second motion displacement is 50 meter. Therefore, we can, we can say that in 10 seconds, the displacement is 50 meter if rest is equal to VB into T. And therefore VB, what we get is, 5 is equal to VB. And if 5 is equal to VB, what can we write F is equal to F is equal to MA? F is equal to MA. So this will become mass is 20 kilogram. So 20 kilogram into 20 kilogram into acceleration, which is which is acceleration is VB by 20. So write it one more time here. Acceleration is VB upon VB upon 20. So this is further equal to 20 by 20 is 1. So this is equal to the value of VB, which is Okay, let me write so it is 20 into VB by 20, 20 by 21, what is VB, which is equal to 5, and therefore the value of force is 5 newtons.